about partitioning and you know I wasn't really sure about it. I had an idea about it, but uh, I think that this one might be better handled by Wendell. Wendell? Thanks, Logan. I got your email here. It's from Brian. It says, uh, got two questions. Does it affect the performance to split a hard drive into three partitions, i.e. one for the OS, another for programs, another for files, or to put those on different hard drives all together? If you've got a choice between partitioning one hard drive or getting two hard drives, generally two hard drives is going to be a better bet because it's two mechanical units that can do two different things, or you can get one SSD for speed, solid state device for speed, uh, and one mechanical drive for storage and have the best of both worlds. That said, the question is a little more complex and so I thought this would be a good opportunity because we get questions like this a lot to sort of explain something about how hard drives work or what the numbers mean and you can put it together. We happen to have a taken apart hard drive. You have spinning platters and you have a read write head uh, and the read write head goes across the platters uh, looking for data and so the data is magnetically encoded on these platters. And this little guy has to, uh, you know, dart around uh, all across the disk to try to find, um, you know, the data that's encoded magnetically here. And there's usually more than one platter. Um, you can't see it, I guess, in the video, but there's actually three of these platters. There's two sides per platter, and there's a, a total of six read write heads that seek a specific spot on the disk. If you partition it, you're doing two things. One, you're restricting how far the head has to move inside of that partition to read files from that partition. It would just be at the beginning of the disk is the outer edge of the disk. Um, and so you sort of restrict how far that has to move. And so the, the less this thing has to bounce around, you know, it's a really bad noise. If your hard drive is making that noise, chances are it's destroyed. But if this little guy has to dart around, you know, the inside, the outside, the inside, the outside, you lose a lot of time doing that. Um, fragmentation, you've heard of, of a hard drive getting fragmented. Well, that, that's one of the things that they mean when they say that the hard drive is fragmented. It, it means that the file is not located on a continuous block of disk. So th this little, if your file is not fragmented, this little guy will jump to a specific spot and wait for the rotating platter to get around to the beginning of your file. And then the rest of your file will be, you know, the first block of your file, the next block in line as this thing rotates uh, will be the next block in your file. So this little guy doesn't have to move, you can just wait for this thing to rotate and it reads the information in and you got your file. And that is the best possible performance scenario for this guy, especially if it's on the outside. Now something you should be thinking about is, you know, well, what about, you know, the performance characteristic of that? Well, look, if this thing's spinning at a fixed RPM, 7200 RPM or 10,000 RPM, if you have one of those Western Digital Rapid Drives or some older server drives or server drives in general, or 15,000 RPM if you have a high-end, you know, serial attached SCSI, uh, the server class hard drive. Um, so there's three different spindle speeds that are that are pretty common in the market. There are some other oddball speeds like 5900 RPM. I think is is uh, the Western Digital Green drives or something like that. But, Anyway, so as this thing spins, more surface area of this, this, this magnetic platter passes underneath the head at the edge here than it does in the middle. There's less surface area. The, the density of the data on these magnetic platters is, is basically constant. It's, there are some exceptions to that, but um, the, the density on here is basically constant. So given that, when this guy's on the outside edge, and this is spinning at a fixed speed, more surface area of the disk is passing underneath the head. So you get more information. Um, you can run a, a benchmarking utility like HDTAC, or HDTune, I'm sorry, HDTune, and it will give you a graph of how fast the drive is, and then along the bottom of the graph, it's got the position on the disk, you know, zero gigabytes, the beginning of the disk, you know, 100 gigabytes a little ways into the disk, 500 gigabytes the middle of the disk, and, you know, 1,000 gigabytes at the end of the disk in the case of a one terabyte drive. Um, and as it, it graphs that number for you, you'll see it sort of start to fall off at the beginning. You know, it might be 100 megabytes per second, but, the, but by the time you get to the end, it might only be 50 megabytes per second. Well, that's the performance characteristic of this head moving from the outside edge inside um, because less surface area is passing underneath the read write head. So if you want to partition your, your drive for convenience, 
Um, sure, it, it's generally not going to hurt anything. Um, you can put your OS on a small partition at the beginning of the disk, and that small partition will have the best performance characteristic. And then your second partition, you can put your games and things that you still want to be fast. Uh, and then your third partition you can use for bulk storage, like uh, movies and music, stuff like that. Movies and music, generally, you don't need to have the, that, those kind of files in the best performing area of your disk. Um, a lot of the time, unless you have a third-party defragmentation program, um, the defragmentation program that's built into Windows Vista, and certainly Windows 7, doesn't really do that good of a job figuring out what kind of file it is and where it should go. So if you're, if you're doing the partitioning thing, you can sort of pick. You can say, okay, my, my giant MP3 collection, that's going to go on this partition that's near the end of the disk uh, because that has the worst performance characteristic in my massive collection of Steam games. That's going to go more toward the beginning of the disk because I want those to go fast. Um, the only other thing I'll mention is uh, if you you know if you do have a file that's fragmented because some like the built-in Windows defragmenter, if you have a very large file, um, it doesn't really care if the very large file has a few fragments if it's broken into a few blocks. Um, and generally, that's not really going to hurt your performance characteristic. But uh, if you've got that file on a partition, you're guaranteeing that this little read-write head doesn't have to go very far to get to the other pieces. Whereas if this is one big drive. This little guy might have to see back and forth. And if you're really lazy with your computer stuff and you end up with a really, really fragmented file system, the drive's going to perform very, very badly. Um, so partitioning can help. Um, that's the most complete answer that I could fit in the time allotted. Uh, if you have any questions, I guess post to the forum. Hopefully, for those of you out there that know as much or more than I do, I didn't gloss over the details too badly. Uh, if not, I'm sure I'll get hate mail. That's sort of how it works in a nutshell. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a one terabyte solid state drive, well, you know, that doesn't apply to you. You can break it into as many pieces as you want, and the performance characteristic at the beginning of the disk, end of the disk, it's the same, because there's no mechanical bits that have to move back and forth. So, if you have a solid state drive, uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. So, back to you, Logan. Hope you guys learned something. Every time I talk to Wendell, I learned something. And, uh, let me learn you something right now. If it wasn't for Wendell, we wouldn't even have a race the world. He helped out with the database, so be sure to say thanks to Wendell in the uh, forum. Or else I will boil a big bowl of soup. Or rock your boots. Inbox at racetheworld.com. Wendell Keen and I will take care of it. Because between all of us.